Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. Guess what? Inventory 17 is available. I'm going to take you through some of the highlights of that. Uh, a couple things you do need to know. Now, Inventory 17, they've got some great uh, integration upgrades, um, bug fixes, performance enhancements. So, uh, along with uh, upgrading your inventory to 17, you also need to upgrade your PDQ Deploy to 17.2 to take advantage of the uh, new enhancements. So, Again, grab both of those, they're great. So back to inventory. Again, find out what's new and what's uh, improved. F1 on the user's guide, go to the update notes. So here we go, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you about a few of them, show you some of them. Uh, a couple things uh, <clears throat> that are really cool is one, you can prioritize your scans. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can make dynamic collections from your application window. You uh, when you uh, edit your columns, well, let's just go through it. It's easier to show you than to tell you. So I'll leave that open. I'll just minimize it. First of all, let's go and uh, prioritize our scans. So we're going to start and we're going to do a standard scan. And let's say I wanted to do a couple of these first. So I'm going to grab three of these, four of these, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say prioritize the scan right there. Boom. Prioritize. Notice those got prioritized. Now, oops, you know, let's say I wanted this one to be prioritized before those. So basically the last one you select and prioritize is gonna be the first one on the list when the queue gets cleared. So again, I picked three, those go to the top and then, oh yeah, I picked another one, it went on top of those. So basically your budding in line is what you're doing. So um, as long as you remember it like that, you're budding in line, these scans are gonna be, you'll be able to prioritize those. So the other thing we can do, notice Guinness has done that, got bumped to the, the top of the queue there. If you go in and you go to the application screen, you can make a dynamic collection from applications with a simple right click. So let's just uh, right click on Epic Pen version 3.6, new dynamic collection. It opens it up and basically builds a dynamic collection off the application name and fills in the uh, application name for you. There you go. Give that an okay. And you got to be able to find that guy right down here. There it is, Epic Pen version 3.6. And uh, the only machine that has that on it is going to be Guinness. So, oh, and Microverse. I take that back. We have two machines. I learned something new today. So, prioritizing scans, new dynamic collections. Let's go back to the help. Um, target service preference page is now easier to use. Um, again, guys, target uh, service, I, I would be really careful using that. Make sure you, there's a few, you know, special cases where you're going to want to use that, but it is easier to use now. Now, editing the columns window uh, for your, you can drag and drop. So let's say I go to my computer screen and I want to edit this. So here's the edit columns. I decide I want to put uptime right under name. I can drag and drop it just like that. I close it and guess what? There you go. There's my uptime on machines. Whew, looks like I need to reboot some of those. <clears throat> Back to the help, um, some new variables added. You can read about those. Oh, displaying technical contacts in the license window. This will help you out if you ever have people, you know, um, move, you know, leave, move on. If you go to the licensing page, you'll see right here, billing contact. This happens to be Shane and our technical contact is Shane. Um, if you have any questions on who you need to talk to about billing and technical, or if you need to change those, that information is maintained and updated there. So. And then uh, last thing I just want to bring up is um, we'll give you a warning if your cap locks is on when you're doing your uh, uh, password and distributed wake on LAN will now display the machine it's using to relay those distributed wake on LAN. So that's uh, inventory 17. Great new features, lots of bug fixes. Guys, pick it up. It's great. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Catch y'all later.